All right, man, talk the talk. You know what it is, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. So look, man. Look, man. <clears throat> Here's the law, second lawsuit. Well, we would say petition to get information for a second lawsuit from Drake. Um, and this time he is asking, he's saying that uh, not like us, basically slandered him and UMG allowed it. So he's basically trying to uh, go after them for that on this one here. So before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spell. This is Torch Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful sec single sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, Cash App is in the description. It called me the hidden gem. I went from... 1,300 subscribers to over, to over 12,000. And let me know where you're from, too. You know, let me know what kingdom you're from. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're from the kingdom of Chicago, the kingdom of, uh, you know, New York, the kingdom of Maine, the kingdom of, uh, you know, Indianapolis, any place. You know what I mean? Let me know where you're from. Just put kingdom of and where you're from. All right, look, man, so we're going to get right to it, man. Let's do it. All right, so let's do it, man. Let's get it. We in here. Let's go. And the entire internet roasts you for running to court after losing a rap battle. You go to court again. Drake has filed another petition. This is a petition, not a lawsuit. He's asking the court to tell Universal Music and iHeartRadio to turn over documents so that he can file a suit for defamation and civil RICO claims, alleging that these companies engaged in a scheme to make Kendrick Lamar artificially popular, boost the algorithm and the coverage and the spread of his songs throughout the airwaves. At the same time, they knew that Kendrick Lamar was making defamatory statements about Drake, calling Drake a pedophile, and told y'all <laughs> i told y'all about this dude so here's the thing right now he's trying to get to before i believe it was uh it wasn't nothing criminal i think he was just suing now he's trying to go after he's trying to get to the point where he can get a criminal charge and criminally go criminally go after the record UMG, which is what you would consider the biggest thing in record in the record industry, the music industry. He's trying to basically burn the whole thing down because of because he lost us in a battle. He's trying to say that they artificially inflated Kendrick Lamar's numbers because no one can be as popular as him. He's trying to say that he never participated in this type of thing where they actually never did this for him. No one ever created a banner or anything for Drake, Apple Music, putting him at the top, any anything. No one's ever done nothing like this for him. They only did it for Kendrick. And his reasoning is because they said they did it for Kendrick to make Kendrick popular to where they can say to him, well... This guy is much more popular than you. He got more hits than you. Got a bigger hit than you. Why should we give you four hundred million dollars? Now, my understanding is they already gave him the money. I don't know why people keep bringing this up now. I thought that he already signed the contract already. I thought he already got the money already. I thought they already gave him the money. I thought that that's what happened. Now people are saying that that didn't happen yet. So, okay, if that didn't happen, then why when Drake put out something, why was his own record label blocking what he put out if that didn't happen already? Why, why does he have to get permission from them? I don't get it, but let's keep it going. They chose to go ahead and engage in this whole big scheme, causing Kendrick Lamar to go up in popularity, causing Drake to go down. And now Drake says, I need this evidence and I'm going to file these lawsuits. I would ask Drake, have you not had enough of the good public reception? Also, are you at all concerned that if you were going to file a defamation lawsuit, 
why didn't you file a defamation lawsuit? Why did you file a petition? Have you considered that if you file a claim that you've been defamed by being called a pedophile, you then open yourself up to expansive discovery about all of your prior sexual relationships? But hey, look, we're talking about one of the biggest pop stars in the world. and he That's what I'm saying. Whoever's around him, they're not telling this dude. And he's probably not telling his lawyers everything. They're going to, if you open up an investigation of something like that, they're going to ask, well, why? And people are going to, bro, if you, if you take this to court, y'all go to trial and, and, and they bring their lawyers, their lawyers are going to demolish you, bro. They're going to demolish your lawyers, bro. Because you did a lot of crazy, nefarious things and they're going to expose you. I'm telling you, bro, I just don't understand why he's doing this. I really don't. It's just crazy to me. I really don't know why, but I'm here for it all because this is what we're here for. We're here to see this. We're here to see the crash out. We're here to see the planes crash because right now, his, he got about 10 of them Jones crashing all over the place. Just crazy. He's made his calculations. His lawyers have given him his advice, and they're off to the courthouse. Who knows? Tomorrow might bring, might bring petition number three. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in as Drake is in the news and in the headlines once again. And this will be the third day straight in a row. And Sunday, he made an appearance on XQC live stream, and he took this opportunity to take some shots and some jabs at some artists in the game. And he most definitely knew what he was doing. He know people will be watching it. He know that this is all, this is what people is looking for with things like that. It got spread all over Instagram, Twitter. Well, less than 24 hours later, the news that came out that he had taken legal action against his record label and Kendrick Lamar record label UMG and they're on different uh under like subsidiaries I think Kendrick Lamar is on Interscope on that side well he is on the Interscope side and I think Drake is under the Republican side but it's under the same umbrella of Universal but he's saying that they inflated numbers use bots use social media influencers to go at Drake to push the Not Like Us record and in turn to devalue him to hurt the no contract negotiations and they did not protect their artist's best interest as they would have done. So this is what I'm saying. So is the contract negotiation still going on? Because if you're saying that, that they did this because I thought that Drake already had signed the contract or he was already in the contract already. So what are we doing here? Are we saying that the contract that he didn't sign this? So you're saying Not Like Us came out in May. They pushed that song to defame you so this way they can give you less money. Then why you just didn't not sign the contract with them and say, you know what? I'm going to go independent. Why not? Why you just didn't go independent? Because according to some people, if you go independent, the music label would crash and burn. This is what they were saying. This is everybody was saying. If Drake goes independent, the music industry is over. But now it, it's being revealed that this guy is basically saying, well, they pushed this to make my, my negotiation numbers. Um, I, wanted, I actually wanted this and they offered this. This is what they're saying. I'm telling you, man, it's a lot of people just be talking just to talk. And we're seeing it right now. For somebody like Taylor Swift. Now, a defamation claim was mentioned in that as well, that they had grounds to do so. Well, here we are now, day three of him being in the headlines. It's the day the defamation part of it came out in this second part of this suit. And I put that clip with lawyer for workers in the beginning so he can break it down real quickly for the people to just get it in a summarized format. And I'm going to get it to a little bit of the write-up in just a second. But I want to make this part right here clear, bro. Does Drake do this if he wins this battle? If the narrative is that he no. swept Kendrick Lamar or got Kendrick Lamar out of here? If he had yep. the same results with Kendrick Lamar that he had with Meek Mill, are we seeing these lawsuit attempts being filed right here do we see defamation of character do we see that hey y'all using bots 
uh, streaming farms or paying social media influencers, taking the copyright stuff off. And even with the people saying that 30% part, that's crazy to me also, fam, because let's keep it a thousand. When you sign to the label, they supposed to do whatever they got to do for you to win and blow you up as an artist. What blow this artist up might not blow this artist up. You don't say, well, hey. That's 100% facts. That's 100% facts. What blows this artist up might not blow this artist up. And it's crazy how I'm telling y'all, man, this guy's been doing this. Drake's been doing this for years. And he's mad because he's not on top no more. Because people ain't getting him no more. That's what it is. He's pissed because he opened his phone and he's seen Kendrick Lamar occupying all the spots all over the place with his new album. And he couldn't take it. This is what happened. Because guess what? He would have been did all this if he had a problem with it. Why are you waiting until now? You would have been doing all this. He's, this is all reactionary. He would have been did all of this. He would have did this from the beginning. He would have did this. When he seen that it was blowing up, you want to wait now until six months later to say, you know what? No, nah, bro, something ain't right with this. this. This is not right. It's not right. It's not right. And here we have it, man. And it's just, I don't know. This is this is disgusting, man. It's disgusting. But let's 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 keep it going. Man, y'all was selling his music at cheaper than mine, so y'all can blow him up more things. Well, duh, that's what the label is gonna do, bro. None of this stuff when you sell And that's another thing. He was saying that they were selling not like us cheaper than his music so they can blow him up faster. Listen, bro, I, I, I'm, and I know Drake, Drake's been in the game. He's been on top. I, w I was never in the music industry, but I understand how it works. And I've, and I've been around people. It does not matter if you sell your record for a dollar ninety nine or twenty ninety nine. It don't matter if people don't like it. They're not going to buy it. Trust me. There's a lot of people who were saying they were selling their album for $5.99 and people still didn't buy it because people are real fickle with their money. If someone likes a song, they're going to purchase it. And even if you're saying that they did some persuasion and make the song bigger than what it was, you basically are, are, are treading on conspiracy theory uh, uh, accusations, basically saying that people can't choose for themselves. The music industry is basically putting something in your face and make you buy it. And you got to buy it because it's been put in your face so many times. I heard Ja Rule over and over again, and I never bought his album. Never. I heard it, but I never bought it. I never liked Ja Rule. Not one time. Didn't buy none of his stuff. So you basically saying because... And they did it for you. So if you're saying this, you're basically saying that you are guilty of the same thing because they did it for you. They put their music in front. Your music, Hotline Bling was everywhere. All of these songs was everywhere. They put them songs in front of people. So you're saying that they put these songs in front of people and people started liking it because they, they was putting it in front of everybody. That's basically what you're saying, which is crazy to me because you did it too. It's crazy. But let's keep it going. Out to the label is 100%. I'm just dropping the music, telling my fans to go get it. Drake has benefited from these same type of things his entire career. Whether it be ads on Instagram accounts, y'all have to know and need to know now. This is what they've been doing. Radio playlists, it's all the same stuff. That's why you hear the same stuff on the radio every day. Uh, streaming platforms, Apple, Spotify, YouTube music, the playlists that are getting promoted and ads on there, the labels are paying. They all in distribution together. They have signed contracts with these platforms, bro. So when you come out and throw this out there, it's like, wow, what are we really saying? Because he's been using this his entire career, but now it worked against him. It's like you blowing the whistle now. You want to burn the whole house. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Now you want to burn the whole thing down because you couldn't get your way. So look at this. It's crazy. 
I never in my life have I, I never in my life seen something like this. Never. In all the years I've been in music, I've never seen anyone do something like this. This is beyond music now. This is beyond rap. It's, this is this is taking it to another level. And I just don't see how anybody could defend this. The whole purpose of rap, not the whole purpose, but one of the biggest purpose that rap served was everybody said they hate snitches. Everybody said that they hate when you go to the law or when you sue. But for some reason, when it comes to Drake, now everybody is trying to say, well, maybe the whole music industry need to be exposed. Be like, what? <laughs> All this time, y'all, now the music industry need to be exposed because he lost a battle? Oh, my God, bro. I'm telling y'all, he lost, and he lost everything. He didn't lose everything as far as his finances goes, because obviously he still got money. But he lost everything when it comes to his credibility, his music. People still playing his music, but it just not. It's not what it used to be, and people are starting to see that, and they're saying that. This is not what it used to be anymore. He's not what we thought he was. He's not like us. <laughs> That's what it is. House down because the house is not letting you be the leader, the number one guy no more, and you got to look. Now it worked against him. It's like you blowing the whistle now. You want to burn the whole house down. Because the house is not letting you be the leader, the number one guy no more, and you got a little blemish on your name. I'm just keeping it all the way a thousand. Now let's ask ourselves this: If the roles was reversed, if Kendrick Lamar said this, what would the game say about Kendrick Lamar right now? He also called Kendrick Lamar like a bad father, and then said he was treating his girl bad. Then also said that uh, the his kids was not his; it was his homeboy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you want to sue, you're going to try to sue a man or a label for defamation of character. But the thing is, you said that Dave Free was the baby father of his child. You also said that he beats on his girl. You said this. So how is that not defamation of character? But no one's talking about that. Everybody's only talking about what he said about Drake, but nobody's actually talking about what Drake said about Kim. It's so crazy to me, man. It's crazy. But this is what we here for. For real. And Thank everything like that. Talked about the marriage stuff and all these things. You got in the water with him. You dove in that pit. And I remember specifically when Drake put out Taylor made, he said something about, oh, I know you gonna talk about the, the underage girl thing because that's a joke that was out there with Drake already. So you threw it out there yourself. So now to come out and throw this lawsuit is all like, uh, you dove in that water first, but hey, he just did it better, did it greater later and turned it all the way up. But now you coming with the lawsuit, it just don't, it come off as, hey man, I'm not gonna play the game fair. I'm just like, whatever, nigga. Hey, I lost the battle. It don't look in my favor. I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to make the situation work for me, I guess. I don't know what y'all want to call it. But think if Kendrick Lamar did this. Think if Meek Mill had done this. Think if a Rick Ross, a Gucci Mane, a Jeezy, a anybody else, a Jay-Z, a Nas, or anybody else from my culture who they had battle raps, a T.I., a Flip. People would be looking at them crazy, I think, if it went with the... That's exactly what I'm saying. He's hitting that right on the head. What it would have happened if any of these other people had said this? Why is it that when he does it, everybody has to play private investigator now? But when everybody else was, do if anybody else would have did this, if Jay-Z would have did this, his credibility would have been shot. If he would have did this against Nas, it would have been like, oh man, Jay, bro, come on, Jay. But for some reason, y'all give him a pass. I don't get it. These same type of terms, filing a lawsuit on some other stuff is different, but... For this right here, after the battle, does he do this if he won this battle? I doubt it. And the write-up says this. Drake has launched a second bombshell legal action against Universal Music Group over Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us, accusing the music giant of defamation and claiming it could have halted the release of a song falsely accusing him of being a sex offender. A day after filing... <laughs> he said it could have it basically saying... They could have stopped this song from coming out. 
but they let it come out. And then what they did was they made it lower. They made the price for the song lower so everybody can actually download it or buy it. It's like, bro, most people don't buy music no more. Most people listen to it on streaming services. You know what I'm saying? And you can't believe that this song blew up like that, that it has to be some type of conspiracy theory or something going on. Like, this is crazy. In action in New York accusing UMG of illegally boosting Lamar's track on Spotify, Drake's company leveled similar claims in Texas court regarding radio giant All Heart Radio. The new filing filed late Monday and made public on Tuesday claims UMG funneled payments to All Heart as part of the pay for play scheme to promote the song on the radio. But the filing also offers new key key new details about Drake's grievances towards UMG. The label where he spent his entire career in it, he says UMG knew that Kendrick's song falsely accused him of being a certified pedophile and a predator, but chose to release it anyway. UMG could have refused the release to distribute the song or required the offending material to be edited and or removed, Drake lawyers write, but UMG chose to do the opposite. UMG designed, financed, and then executed a plan to turn Not Like Us into a viral mega hit with the intent of using the spectacle to of harm to Drake and his business to drive consumer hysteria and, of course, massive revenues. That plan succeeded like beyond UMG's wildest expectations. But here's the thing. UMG did not stop your song <laughs> when you were saying all these egregious things about him. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. When you said these things about him, they didn't stop your song. So because you basically put something on him and you basically said that he was a wife beater, they didn't, they didn't stop your song, so why would they stop his song? All fair in love and war, bro. This is what happens. Like, you really did this to yourself. And I just don't understand how his lawyers are running with this story. This is laughable. Oh, my God. This is so laughable. And I'm going to tell you like this. It's not an official lawsuit, but this is the things you have to do to get the lawsuit in motion. I want this to be clear, bro. You put your music out too, bro. You were saying foul stuff about him too. He just came more clever with it, more catchier with it. He has worked in the favor more. You've been getting the same things. The blogs pay. Y'all music both get paid. All these things are paid ads when y'all see them all over these blogs and things for certain headlines. They are paying to keep them in rotation in the conversation. Every artist that signed to a major is getting that same treatment. They're going to spend the money. They're going to pay to put you in places. They're going to call for favors. The radios be tied in. It's a whole industry. And this industry that he calling out, you ain't just calling out UMG. You calling out it all. And I told you, all it's big three. It's UMG, it's Sony, and it's Universal. I mean, I mean it's U Universal, Sony, and Warner Brothers. Those are the big three. UMG, Sony, Warner Brothers. Those at the top, all the labels up under them, the industry rotate how it rotate. It's just different faces. Same game that been going on. All monopolized, all that got contracts with the streaming platforms, all got relationships with the radio. This is why independent nigga can't get in there, get on the front page of playlisting. You can't get your song on the radio. You got to go through them. You going at the whole industry now. But, hey, y'all call it how y'all want to call it. Feel how y'all want to feel about it. We don't do stuff like this in the culture because we take a L. We go at this and then we use another nigga name in the song, whether you're suing him directly or not, because he's not suing Kendrick Lamar directly. But here we, man, we know what this is, man. Tell me what y'all We definitely know what this is, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. I just don't know what to say anymore, man. We at the point where what do you do because if this succeeds, that means that everybody is going to sue. Even if they were a part of this type of practice. It's like the pot calling the kettle black. Drake, you are a part of this. Drake, you release songs talking and defaming him and saying things. You think that people were, on, people were making blogs and saying, Kendrick has to answer to him beating on his wife. You don't think that that's defaming somebody? You don't think that that's an allegation that's disgusting? People were saying, yo, you need to explain. Your wife need to come out and say why. He uh, 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 All of this stuff. All this stuff. 
And the only thing Kendrick asked you was to, if for a friendly fade and euphoria and what you do, you kept it going. And you even admitted it in the third, in the song, in Family Matters. Like you did talk to Kendrick and you still wanted to do whatever you wanted to do. You didn't care. You didn't care. But when you lost, then all of a sudden now, you want to say, why you didn't file a, a lawsuit then when he, it, it, when it when it first started? Say, Naughty, I need to take this out. I'm suing y'all. Were you waiting until now to do it? No, because he came out with all those songs and, and went number one again. And now you mad. You mad. Because you feel like he got it on your back. Off of your back. It's crazy. But either way, man, I'm out of here. You have yourself a, 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 good, a good day. See y'all. Peace. Bye.